Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm just making an intro video for this video because I didn't film one when I was in the process of moving everything to my new train case. So here I am filming the intro and I'm just, I'm just gonna do the outro here as it is because I don't have an outro either. So enjoy, it is my new train case. Um, I can link it down below. It is pretty pricey, but um, I have already used it and it's working great for me. It really, it's really heavy. That's the one con that I have about it. And um, I did have to, mm, I did have to work with it a little bit. I changed the, the wheels on it because the wheels that it came with were very small and they weren't necessarily screwed in or bolted onto the train case they were my dad explained it as like it's like this nail that they put in and then it like expands at the end so then it'll expand into the wood but those loosen up and they do tend to fall out anyway so i told my dad to replace the wheels and it was kind of a process because it's not made out of like a good quality wood so he did struggle a little bit but he got the wheels on so they are a lot bigger um and I also had to heighten the table a little bit. Since he did add the wheels onto the train case, it also made the table a little higher up. So that was also a plus because the table is a little low, but it I could also see it working perfectly fine, but I just preferred it to be a little higher up because I'm tall. So yeah, so I so far have been loving it. I just wish maybe they made it a little bit higher quality for the price because it is very expensive. But luckily, you know, my dad is like, super creative and stuff so he makes it work but um I think for the price that I paid I shouldn't have had to work a little extra to make it work you know and it is very very heavy too so it's kind of hard like putting it into my car and stuff so yeah I love it though I love that it has drawers and everything because my other the train case that I used prior to I'd have to kind of take off the top layer and then take off the middle layer like and it was just a process so yeah, but so far I've been loving it. That's what it looks like. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for everyone who's been subscribing. I really do appreciate it. We're at like 510, I think, or 509 subscribers right now, which is insane because we just hit 500 like a week ago and we already have like 10 more subscribers. So to me, that's insane. And I just cannot wait to keep growing. I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let me know what else you guys would be interested in watching. Till next time. So this is a train case. It was definitely more expensive than my old one. My old one is just one of those like regular, sorry, there's a towel on it right now, but it's just one of those regular train cases. And I just, I was really just trying to find something. I was honestly just trying to find a table. I was uh, re researching for tables on Amazon, like manicure tables, but I just, I could not fathom the idea of carrying my train case carrying my duffel bag that has like my my bigger electronics that I use like my UV light and all that and then carrying a table with me and chairs I was like that is just gonna be insane so I I ran into this train case here and um this table does fold down I will show you a video of it folded down but I didn't want to be assembling it on video so this is what it looks like um it's just the train case and then the f table folds down into the train case and I was like you know what this is perfect it was very expensive honestly it was very expensive but I will leave the links down below but I just in the long run I feel like it'll be worth it for me so I did make arrangements on it though um the train case original wheels I will insert a picture here they were very small on the right are the train case wheels that came with the wheel the train case and then on the left are the wheels that I purchased to replace the wheels this is what they look like on these are the ones that I bought these are three inches where the ones that came with the train case were two inches and they were just so small and the, the actual table was very I mean it's it was an inch lowered but like an inch is a big difference in height when it's a table. So the table was like this low and the table was already pretty low as it was and I was like I like I don't want to be working with that because if 
because like we will most likely be using my clients chairs and if they have like a little bit taller chairs we wouldn't be able to use a table so I was like you know what I'm gonna just buy bigger wheels put on the wheels and then it'll naturally heighten up the table but I have to even out the height on the legs now because if I wouldn't the table would be like this because these fold out and they're already assembled to its you know directed level or height so that if I add wheels to it, the table would have been like this because the train case would have been taller, so it would have been slanted. So I just maneuvered my own invention and I made stands. If you Anyways, so when you open up the train case, it has a little mirror. Um, I mean, I really wouldn't be using that part because I'm doing nails, but if you're doing like makeup, maybe it'll come handy. I mean, it's kind of small. You'd have to kind of crouch down, but whatever. It's a cute little added thing and then it actually comes with Bluetooth um, uh, speakers and then it has like a USB plug-in to charge your phone and stuff. But I thought that was a cool feature and yeah I mean the speakers are actually pretty good. I mean obviously they're not like like the like the ultimate quality but they don't sound like they they're blown out. You know what I mean? Like they sound good. So that's cool and then I just plug it in on the side here and then it turns the Bluetooth on but yeah, so then it comes with this little compartment here, and they're actually pretty deep, so they're pretty spacious. And then it has this little compartment here, so you can either keep this in there, or keep it like this and just put whatever. And then underneath, I mean, it just has the bubble wrap that the cable came with to plug in the Bluetooth, but... Yeah, so it's cool because I can store things underneath here as well if I want to. And just put, like, bottles or polish here. And what I love about it is that my polish actually fits standing up here and I can close it without the top hitting. My other um, trade case that I have, I couldn't close the top because it would hit it. I mean, obviously there's other storage where I can place my nail polish, but on the top layer, on the rack, I couldn't close it. So yeah, so that's what that looks like. And then down here, um, it comes with like a little code thing. But you have to remove this red thing to like put it put in your own combination. But honestly, that just seems like way too much work for me to put be putting in my combination every time I have a client, you know. So I'm just gonna keep these red things in there for as long as I can. Um, it's on both the bottom and the top. And as long as this red thing is on there, it doesn't really lock it, and you just pull the lever, and then it unlocks it, you know. And that just works better for me because I don't want to be dealing with the combination. So I'm leaving those little red pieces in there as long as I can leave them. And then you just open it and then there's actual drawers here, which is so nice. I like the setup so much better. My other train case, I had to like remove the top layer every time like I need something at the bottom. And it was just like so much. So like literally small like first world problems, but... I just love convenience, so so yeah, it has little drawers, and they're pretty spacious, honestly. Like, you could fit a lot in them. Pretty spacious. So, I'm not really sure how I'm going to organize everything quite yet, so that's why I wanted to film this video, this clip first, and then start organizing everything. Um, I'm actually super extra and I sold my nail drill, my LED light, and my UV light because um, I wanted all my supplies to be black. <laughs> so I'm a literal perfectionist and I don't understand why. I'm just extra. So I sold them and then with the money that I sold them with, I in, like I added like I invested it into newer ones, like the newer products. This is the Melody Susie Scarlet Drill. This is the drill I had previously, but it's just in black instead of the white now, which I'm pretty excited about. I was actually just going to get the Melody Susie rechargeable, like the Sparkle Pro one. The Sparkle Pro one's like 180 This one's like 75 I think. Um, you can get it for 60 on Amazon, but I got it for 75 or 80 I think. Because it came with drill bits, which was really cool. It came with the, the set here, which I basically paid for them separately, honestly. But, I mean, it was a bundle, so I took advantage. And, yeah, so this is the black 
Scarlet drill. I honestly love this drill. I was going to get the rechargeable Melody Susie ones, like the, the squared ones, you know, because they're aesthetically pleasing. I mean, this one's pretty cute too, but... Um, I was looking at reviews for the rechargeable ones, and they said that they would skip a lot, like the speed would skip, and um, people tend to burn their their clients very easily, or um, like if they started, like if they were lower the speed, it would like stop when they would start like removing product, you know. So I was like, mm, I've never had any issues with the Scarlet Drill ever, and I had it for like two and a half years, I think. Um, and I don't know, I just was over the white. I just am like in the black aesthetic right now. And I just think it looks so good in black. So I really went back and forth debating if I should just get the rechargeable one. It's like that square one. I'll insert a picture here. And they're just really cute. But this one never gave me issues. And I don't want to be experimenting. I just, I'm like bad to change. So yeah, it came with some sanding bands with the cord and then that like little bit thing that like no one uses besides the mandrel <laughs> and then extra sanding bands again the um pedal which i personally don't use and then the handpiece and i love the handpiece because it's just like again i don't know i just love the black aesthetic right now i'll insert a picture of the white one because i don't know if you, you were able to see them in my videos previous videos but I'll insert the ver the white version I mean the white version's cute too but again I'm just in a black aesthetic right now so I was like I think it's time for a new drill so I sold my other one and the money that I got for that one I put into this one so that's the black hand piece for this one and it's just like so nice the quality from two years ago from my, when I purchased my first drill has definitely went up I feel like I don't know it just looks like high quality and then I love that it has the little holes up here so when I'm working on the client I can just place their, their bits that I'm using on them and just leave them there. So that is the drill. And then I got a new UV light and it looks like this. This one is 120 um, watts. The one I sold was like 45 watts. So I did upgrade and unfortunately I wasn't able to find a black UV light. <laughs> to like completely fit the aesthetic but this was as close as to what I can find to being like full black and this one's like way bigger than the one that I had previously like you can put like two hands in here so I don't know I just thought it was really cool so it's from that brand right here I think it was like 30 bucks or something and yeah I just love how it's like so big compared to my last one and again this was just the one that I was able to find that had the most black on it so I mean it still matches so <laughs> I'm so extra like that's honestly so extra of me to be matching my things but aesthetics and then my LED desk lamp my honestly my other lamp was maybe four months old like I did not have it for long but it was a white one and I wanted a black one so I sold my other one put the money into this one and yeah, this is just what it looks like, and it's just a black desk lamp. It's not built right now, but I mean, obviously it just has the bottom, and then it has like, it's just a black one, and it's like touch screen, so I'm gonna just go ahead and unbox everything so that I can put it in my train case, but this is a close-up of the lamp, so yeah, I will be back when I finish everything and like fill it up oh my gosh I actually forgot to mention my dust collector I've had this dust collector for I think like a year no I've had it for like two years now um, my dad gave it to me for Christmas but it was in a pink like a baby pink shade and I painted it black because again aesthetics and I didn't really want to buy a new dust collector because this one actually works pretty well so and it's like very inexpensive on Amazon and I was like so close to buying a new one but I was like you know what I can't find any black dust collectors so if I were to get a new one it would have to be white and it just wouldn't fit the theme you know so I was like you know what I'm just gonna save some money and paint it black myself and honestly I think it turned out pretty well it doesn't look bad it doesn't look like cheaply painted you know so I'm happy because I'm matches everything okay anyways I'm gonna go organize all my stuff and I'll be back Okay guys, an hour later and I have everything in 
the train case. This is how the table looks when you fold it in and then you just unclip it from the bottom and then you'll pull it out. And yeah, this train case is actually extremely spacious, which I was honestly doubting at first. I was like, these drawers don't look that big, but then once you actually start like putting stuff in there, like they're really long, you know? So you can actually fit a lot in there. So on the top section here, I have um, my drill. I'm gonna be keeping my drill in here um, just because I don't want to be making it toss around like usual when I have my um, duffel when I have it in my duffel bag. I feel like I just it just tosses around too much in there, so I'm gonna just keep it in here, hand piece, and then I'm gonna be keeping my little um, <laughs> table levelers in here just so when I set up every time I'll just put them on there. Um, but yeah, and then I have my water here. I usually use these for like nail decals or whatever, but I re um, labeled everything as well before the labels were handwritten. But that was like before I got my label maker like a year ago. Like last fall, I didn't have my label maker yet because I got it for Christmas in 2020. So I re labeled everything so it looks more clean. And then yeah just labeled that and then over here I have my dust brush this is the brush that I use to dust off my client's hand and then this is the brush I use to dust off the table like the table top and then I have two little containers here that I use for monomer damping dishes um, and then I don't know if you remember in the beginning though this whole top was sectioned out but I actually cut the sections so that I can have like an open space over here and I can um, separate only a few items because I didn't need the whole thing to be full with like little separators. So I just cut the pieces in half and then I just placed it back in here. But yeah, so I always keep a black and a white gel polish on me at all times just in case, you never know. So my Curious Sky ones, I have my top coat, my matte top coat, shiny top coat, always have those on me. My cuticle oil, this is a Young Nails Rose cuticle oil. I have my um, Bonder, my primer, my nail foil glue. I always have that on me too. I have some glues here. I use the KDS glue and then this glue that I got at Cosmoprof. Um, this is pretty good. And then I have just another Bonder from Young Nails. And yeah, and then underneath, I think I'm going to like put something on here so that I'm able to lift it easier. Maybe like a little ribbon or something. But underneath, hold on. I just keep extras. So I have this styptic pencil just in case I ever cut my client. I've never used, have to use these before, thank God, but... Um, I mean, I've heard these are good if you cut your client on an accident, so, god forbid, but still, <laughs> just in case. And then I have, um, my art brushes in here. I have my, um, acrylic brushes in here as well, but I'm gonna take those out at my next appointment and then just leave them out. But yeah, I have all my brushes. These are all nail art brushes and, um, acrylic brushes. And then... In this container, I have just extra tools um, that I don't use at like every appointment, but just have them on me just in case. So that is what's in there. And then I close it. Why isn't it closing? What's oh, this is in the way. It's okay, I'll just lay it down. Close it. And then if you open up the little door like this, my first drawer I have um, like the tools that I use at almost every appointment and they're all clean right now. I sanitize them so I just have them in the clean container and then when I use them I put them in the disinfect container and then I just kind of switch them off before every appointment. 
And then I just have my mini UV light in here. I usually use this for like nail art. I just have it in here because I just wanted to put it there. And then I'm just going to actually move this back here. Move these forward. And then I have my Panna sanding bands. I have just all my nail drill bits in here. These are the new ones that I got with my um, drill. Like the ones that came with it. I mean, I paid extra for it. it. It was like in a bundle, but I paid more than I would for the drill. But I don't know. I thought they were cool, so got those. And then I have my big container of bits. These are all like cuticle prep, and then just extras in there. And then. I just have my two mandrel bits that I use like on the daily in just little containers so that I like I know where they are. And then these, I don't think I'm gonna keep these in here. I don't know. I might. Does anyone actually use these? Um, I don't. Um, but you just never know. I don't know. I just never know if I made them. So that's what's in that drawer. And then in this second drawer, I have just my. Um, nail files and then my buffers. In here I have my tips and acrylic. So I just have my Mia Secret Cover Nude Blush, Mia Secret Clear, and then my Young Nails White back here. I don't like the Mia Secret White. I feel like it like dries weird. I don't know. And the Young Nails one is like perfect so it's a brand new one. So I'll just keep that one there. And then on the last drawer I have um my little paper like my little napkins that I use for my monomer like to wipe my brush off this is just a little bag that I use for trash um at the end of appointment I'll just put all the trash in there and then I just have my non lint um cotton thingies I usually use those to like wipe the nails off or just clean them off or when I'm using nail art like and I mess up I'll just use those I have a little box here um, with just my gloves for every appointment. And then in here I have my dentist um, little bibs. They're just black black dentist bibs that I lay out on the table before I start working so that I can keep the area clean. And that is it. That is the last thing I have in my train case and I love it honestly. It's perfect it's exactly what I was like hoping for and straight out of the bat when I ordered it I was planning on adding new wheels to it because I did want the table to be a little higher and um I don't know there's just reviews about people saying they wish there was like bigger wheels so I already had it in my, my mind I was like you know what I'm just gonna put new wheels on it um, and thankfully my dad was able to make that happen, so. Yeah, so that is the train case. That is my new and improved Nell setup. And, um, I always keep my duffel bag with me because, um, this is where I keep, like, all my electronic stuff. So I have my, um, extension cable thingy. And then my UV lights my LED desk lamp, and then my dust collector. I used to keep my drill in here, but like I showed you, now I have space for it in my train case, so I just don't put it in there now. And then on this side, I keep all my cables. And then on this side, I just have like a mini dust collector thing, like a tabletop collector. Um, and that is it. So that is my new and improved mobile nail tech setup. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so excited to just finally have like a setup that includes a table because I've been wanting a table forever, but I didn't want to be carrying everything around with me because it does become very difficult. This is honestly very heavy, but I mean, I am able to have a table with it. So yeah, 